hello and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to discuss about authorization for business central SaaS tenant environment if you follow the steps which i mentioned in this video you will be able to set up your uh, authorization for business central SaaS environment within five seven minutes time uh, so first question first thing which uh, might come into mind uh, first question is that uh, why auth2 the simple answer is uh, microsoft is uh, going to deprecate web service access key in near future so here's the official uh, announcement from microsoft and when you log in into business central environment and uh, go to user card there it shows the web service access key is being deprecated on sas so that's the reason for going for it uh, there are two parts uh, in this example i'm taking uh, the example of in this video i'm taking example of postman uh, accessing uh, web services of a business central environment using postman so two parts azure part and postman part some setups some settings to be done in azure and then in postman in the azure uh, we will have to log in into portal.azure.com using the user id which we use for accessing business central search ten tenant uh, their uh, uh, search for app registration as shown here okay and after that we will set up api permissions certificates and secrets the next part is in postman postman uh, currently till now when uh, authorization is not set up i use basic authorization for accessing my web services or apis uh, so uh, we will choose their uh, OAuth 2.0 as shown here and then uh, we will enter the value of callback URL authorization URL access token URL and client ID and secret client secret we can leave the fields uh, scope and state blank so uh, let's see it in the system actual system so here i have logged in into my business central SaaS environment uh, using this id using the same id i have also logged in into portal.azure.com so these two login ids should be same that's the first thing second is uh, uh, when i'm logged into uh, sandbox environment after business central.com this part which i'm lighting highlighting over here is known as tenant id or grid of tenant global unique id identity so this will be required in various other steps in this demo so grid is this one once you are logged in into azure search for app registration app registrations after that click on new registration give some name in my case i'll give business central uh, you can select uh, whether single tenant or multi-tenant and uh, for this video i'm using single tenant only after that uh, here's the redirect url which will be used for redirecting uh, so i'll use the part up to this point central.com http once this is done click on register so your app registration is complete after that next step is api permissions adding the api permissions uh, add on add a permission select business central dynamics 365 business central delegate in deli click on delegated permissions select all these and then click on applications permissions select add permissions grant ad, uh, it is saying not granted for conto so not granted for conto so so grant admin consent next is certificates and secrets this is a very important step click on new client secret uh, let's give it 
uh, some name let's call it oauth2 and expires i am selecting 24 months or now uh, okay 24 months maximum period uh, here you need to make note of this value value shown over here later on this will be masked this is my uh, secret client secret id so don't forget to make a note of this secret key is it ending with dot yeah one mu one point dot one dot and secret id okay after this go to overview in overview here we see application client id make a note of this also application or client id so once this is done we are done with the azure part now we will move to postman i am using postman desktop engine agent or desktop engine something uh, so currently when o3 is not set up i am using base basic authorization wherein i uh, i have given admin uh, user name and then the web uh, web access web service access key but now i want to set up authorization so i'll select oauth2 once you select oauth2 keep this default value request header add authorization data to request request header then current token here we will choose configure new token token name the name which you gave while publishing your uh, app so while registering your app in the Azure grant type authorization type callback ID callback ID is the ID which we uh, set up while earlier that was http.dynamics.businesscentral.com you can check that one here also this is the one businesscentral.dynamics.com okay uh, leave this authorize using browser then these are four other parameters authorization url authorization url is uh, this one uh, login.dynamics let me show you in the word file login.windows.net after that this part is your grid of the tenant let me show you this is this one which i mentioned in the earlier part of the video okay and then next one is uh, authorization token url the difference between this one and the token url is in this part here it is token whereas in uh, authorization it is authorized okay so let me show you this value token url okay once that's done client id is the client id which we noted earlier application client id application client id so next one is client secret client secret is the one where i said that it will be masked later on you need to make a note of that so that value is here i'll copy this one and enter them you can leave scope and state as blank then client authentication will be sent as basic auth header uh, if there are any cookies earlier we can clear the cookies and then click on get new access token so here i'll have to log in into my environment
press that so it says authorization authentication completed this is the token generated uh, uh, we can click use token access token is added and now if uh, api or web service url is entered over here we have selected get method and if i click on send the expectation is i should get data to uh, status should be 200 and i should get the data which i have received here so that's the way to set up the auth uh, 2 for your business central sas tenant i hope you will find it interesting and uh, this will help you in setting up your authorization for business central uh, in case you like this video and want to uh, get it update when as and when i upload uh, more videos in the future then please consider subscribing uh, to my channel uh, that's all for now. Uh, thank you. Thanks and look forward to see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.